is Lori and welcome back to my channel. Today I have, it's a makeup haul. You guys, I haven't done a makeup haul in a long time. I think it's been a long time. I don't know. It may have only been a few videos back, but I'm doing a makeup haul. I got some really good makeup at really inexpensive prices. <gasps> Thank you, TJ Maxx. I love you. But yeah, you guys, if you're interested in seeing what I picked up and some of it is from the dollar store, hey, keep watching. Okay, guys, we're just going to go ahead and start with the TJ Maxx. I went to TJ Maxx yesterday because I just happened to be in Ashland. And I found a lot of good stuff. There's a lot of stuff I wanted. I could have bought so much more usually when i go into tj maxx the makeup i can't find anything but this time i got really lucky and they had a lot of nars i just had what they had um but they had some nars foundations also but they were locked up in those little clear cases and i couldn't see the actual shade so i was like i moved on from that but this is going to be a little bit. So let's let's just jump into this. First off, I got the Too Faced Peach Blur because I do not have that. And I love this peach collection. Um, the stuff is just amazing. This was $12.99. And I used it today. And I am pretty happy with it. And the other thing about TJ Maxx, none of the makeup had been touched. I was shocked. Even the boxes that were like, tore up like uh, you would have swore that when you opened it it was going to be disgusting mm -mm, not been touched but this is what it looks like it is just a finishing powder it actually comes off or it says it's a translucent smoothing finishing powder but I have it on today I love it I love it you guys and um, it smells good so I picked that up. I can't remember what retail is, but you guys, obsessed with the peach stuff. You guys. Oh, I got another blush trio. This is my fourth one. What is there? Five total. This is my fourth one that I did not have. This is in cocktail party. You guys, when I got home last night, I was looking at my receipt. They didn't even charge me for this. This is what the packaging looks like. And then when you open it up, look at that. Love. I love these blushes. And it's really too far away. Like, it's an hour and a half drive for me to get back there to tell them, hey, you didn't charge me for this. So maybe next time I go in there, because the guy is super nice and he always seems to wait on me. He always opens up that register to check me out when I ask him to. And, yeah, I was looking at my receipt. It was not on my receipt. But, oh, you guys, it was clearanced. $7. And it is still $30 at Sephora and everywhere right now. So, I now have four out of the five. I'm missing one. So, hopefully, next time I go in there, they'll have the one that I'm missing. I got a Marc Jacobs uh, liquid lip cream, and it was seven. There you go, seven ninety nine. It is in Fawn Over Me. Do not have this on today, but I love the packaging like that. You can see the shade in there, so I'm thinking people would open it and look. Cause that's what I was doing but this is what it looks like look at that is that not pretty oh I think it is so pretty but I picked it up and again I knew it had not been touched because you can still see how clear that is it's just I was impressed. They're, uh, I don't know if they've threatened to cut off everybody's hands or what, but yeah. And then I picked up a Buxom liquid lipstick, and I got this one because it is in white Russian, and that is one of my favorite lip glosses. I am wearing this today with um, the lip gloss over top of it. So this is what the packaging looks like. 
It's so cute. It's so cute. And it's a really matte liquid lipstick. And that is why I wear the lip gloss over it. But that is white brushing right there. So pretty excited. And again, I'm wearing it today. Oh. With the gloss on top now. Okay, then I picked up a Bite Beauty liquid lipstick. It was $4.99. And it is in caramelized. And I got this. Oh, yes. Because I liked the color. You guys, it is so clean. You can tell that nobody had been messing with it. This is just a shade bit darker than the Mark, the Marc Jacobs. I really like it, especially fall coming up. So that is caramelized. So you got Marc Jacobs. You got uh, the White Russian from Buxom. You got caramelized from Bite Beauty. This is my first Bite Beauty liquid lipstick. So I was pretty tickled about that. You guys, I picked up this. Um, Hello Fab Mango Butter Multi Stick. It's for lip, cheeks, and eyes, and it's from First Aid Beauty. You guys, this was two dollars. Like two dollars. This is in Moonlight. This is what it looks like. It says Hello Fab. Is that not pretty? I got it. I mean, it was $2. I'm going to, like, probably use it on my lips. But, look at that. Oh, Lord, you can use that almost as a highlighter. I think. So, I picked up that. Um, oh, my gosh. They had a shit ton of these. The Gin Nudes Lipsticks by, Mar by Bare Minerals. Um, look. $2. $2. Had never been swatched for nothing. This is what the little bullet looks like. I want you to look at this shade. It's a nude. It's like a brownie nude. Look at that. And it's just like, it goes on so smooth. Love that. I mean... Two dollars, y'all. I was not leaving these behind for two dollars, especially when it was like untouched. And then I picked up a lipstick queen, and it was three dollars. Three dollars, and this is in the shade Chaotic Cocoa. That's just kind of theme going yesterday for, with Coco. One, can we talk about this packaging? Oh, that's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Look at this. Is that not beautiful? I like the swirls of the chocolate in it. Doesn't have a smell to it. That is the lipstick queen. You guys, I think I did uh, four of the five lipsticks. Look at this. Are brown. One, two, three, four. But I couldn't pass it up. I mean, come on. Two dollars? Would you leave it there for two dollars if no one had touched it, no one had swatched it? The only thing wrong is that the box was tore up. No, you wouldn't, would you? I couldn't. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. And I marked it to two dollars because they had to tape the end of the box. I'm like, who cares? Because the guy there, he's actually from Moorhead, so um, he is f like from down the road, but um, living in Ashland now. But he's so nice. But he said. They've been having really great results with people just not messing with the products. So that's it, guys. That's everything that I picked up from TJ Maxx. I mean, it went really well. You know what I'm saying? Like, really well. 
Okay, let's move on. I picked up, uh, I picked this up from Amazon. It is the A313. I've heard so many people talk about this. Now, I've been wanting to try retinol for a really long time, but I don't know. I just, I haven't done it. Well, anyway, Heather mentioned this. I will leave her channel right here. And she mentioned that she picked it up. And so I jumped over on Amazon. It was really inexpensive. I will leave the link to it below. Um, I used it last night for the first time. And it doesn't take much. You know, it goes on really light. And it's like a, it feels like Vaseline. But I rubbed it all over my face and slept in it. Now, it does say that that one of the side effects can be itching in the beginning. I think my face itched for maybe about, uh, I don't know, lipstick, five or ten minutes, and that was it. But you guys, when I woke up this morning, I noticed a difference in my face. Not a huge difference, but I noticed a difference. I noticed that it was just, I don't know, I noticed that my makeup went on better today. You guys, I've had such a time these last couple weeks with my makeup. It's like, I put my makeup on and it just doesn't look right. And I end up just taking it off and going without makeup. But I put my makeup on today and I think it just, it's like it smoothed out my face. I don't know. Like I said, I've used it one time. Um, but... I'm pretty excited for this. I'm going to use it again tonight. It says starting out, maybe use three times a week. Unless you're really used to something like this. I think I might try it again tonight and see what happens. I do know from reading reviews that after using it for a little bit, you'll start to see flaking and stuff. Um, But I'm really excited to see if I get any results for it. And again, it was super inexpensive. But I think it's a retinol that's not so highly concentrated. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know a lot about retinol. But I know that um, I noticed a big difference this morning as far as like my makeup and stuff. And just when I woke up, I just noticed a slight difference in my face. And I was really excited. So excited about that. Okay, you guys. I was one of those that bought the Jaclyn Hill lipstick on the first day. And I got mine in as if. I think that was the one that her sister named or did or whatever. Um, you guys heard all about these. All I can say, you guys, is I've not had nothing wrong with mine. There's been... Uh, no bad smell. There's been no hairs. There's been no bubbles. Um, nothing. I mean, there's no holes. There's, there's nothing. I have swatched this multiple times. Um, I have worn it. I usually will put it on with, um, like a little brush or something. But, I've not had a problem with mine. I mean, I have not had a problem with it. It, um, every time I swatch it, I mean, there's no bubbles, there's no hairs, there's no nothing. This is what mine looks like. I mean, like I said, I've not had any problems. There was nothing wrong with mine. It, is like a regular lipstick that I have everywhere. So I did pick one of those up and I actually really, really love the shade of it. Um, am I leery about wearing it? No, not really. At first I was because I didn't know, you know, so I swatched it quite a bit, but nothing ever came of it. So I know for a week, I swatched this every day on my hand before putting it on my lips. And I've never had a problem with it. And again, I mean, I love the shade. The shade is gorgeous. So, yeah. 
I have a Jaclyn Hill lipstick and I actually like it because there's nothing wrong with mine. Um, Macy's, I started to say Mac. Macy's had a 15% off of beauty or 20% off. It was a while back. I know they had 15% off just recently, but I didn't get anything. But like last month they had, I'm pretty sure it was 15% off. Anyway, I got a pair of shoes and then I got this because I have wanted this for probably two years. This is the Galactic Matte Bronzer. I have it on today. You guys, I love this so much. I'm so glad I got it. I got it in Cabo. I love the packaging. The packaging is gorgeous. And this is like my shade. Like, I love this shade. It is so me. That's more of that taupey shade that I love so much when it comes to, like, if I want to use it to contour. But I actually just... I just bronzed up with it today and I really, really like it. So I picked it up and I was so happy that I got it on sale. And I am so glad that Macy's is carrying Gerlactic because um, I love that. And I want to try some more of their stuff. And then I just wanted free shipping because I'm not going to pay shipping, especially when I spend a lot of money on our Macy's card. Um, so I grabbed a lip gloss from MAC. It is called Smarty Pants. And it is in the shade I Am Too Smart. Okay. And this is what it looks like. And let's see. I have not worn it. But I have swatched it. I will I love that it's more of like a really light, light, light. Or that, because I would wear that by itself. It's got a little, you see a lot of glitter in here, but you don't see a lot on the hands. So I really like that. Let me see. I have on White Russian, but I mean, look at that. I can hear all the tractors going out there. Hi. I really like it because it's not coming off as glittery. You know what I mean? It's not coming off as glittery. So I like that. But anyway, I picked up some Arnie pants because I don't know. I'm really in the lip glosses right now. I would rather wear lip gloss and I would lipstick because, I don't know, it's summer. I don't usually put on much makeup in the summer. I just go with the basics. Uh, a powder foundation real lightly. Some mascara and a lip gloss. And I'm ready to go. <laughs> okay. I also picked up this. And I did this for free shipping too. I, I placed an order with Belk on a free people dress. And I needed free shipping so I ordered the MAC Bold and Bad Lash Mascara. Um, it's in Bold Bad Black. I had heard about this when it first came out. And I thought, oh, I'm going to try that. And then I never did. You guys, I really, really like this. I have it on today. You can see my lashes. Now, you guys have to understand, I have very little lashes. So, that is um, my lashes today. And that's this. Because I tried to use a bunch of this so I could show you guys. This is what the wand looks like. I love those big wands. And another thing that is, it's really weird, you know, when you pull your mascara out of a tube, it gets real thin at the top, so it kind of pulls that excess off. This one doesn't. It's just a huge hole. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that or not, but it is not bothering me at all. But then, you unscrew this little red one, and there's your bottom lashes and your very corners and stuff. Look at that. 
It's, that is so tiny. But like, I ended up getting this for like $14, but I am loving it. Okay, I picked this up at Walmart over the weekend. It's the Dream Urban cover. It's the Maybelline. I think it's supposed to be like the It Cosmetics CC Plus. Um, I have worn this now for two days. So then I bought it three days ago because I've worn it every day since I bought it. And this is my second day wearing it. You guys, I really do like it. I think it looks pretty good. And I liked the look of it yesterday. Even though I've not had very many good makeup days recently. But I really like the look of it. So, it's $10.98 at Walmart. Um, I picked up this OPI Infinite Shine Fingernail Polish because I really love the shade. I need to actually repaint my nails because they're falling apart but I don't care but I love that shade it's just a really pretty nude um I went to the dollar store and I picked these up I have been wanting to try this believe makeup um, so I got this what is it believe beauty skin finish foundation I picked this up it was five dollars like five dollars now i used it the day after i got it i got mine in soft beige i have to tell you that i really liked the way it looked but i could tell i had makeup on like it felt heavy but the next day i used a different foundation one that I love, a Maybelline one, and it felt heavy too. So I'm thinking it was just my skin. I told you the makeup has not been doing, just not been looking right or feeling right on my skin lately. So I'm going to give it another shot because like I said, it really did look good. Um, maybe I'll do a get ready with me on here. I have not done one of those in forever because I usually don't do those because when I take my glasses off, I can't see very well as far as to put makeup on. But maybe we'll do a get ready with me and we'll try this out and see. And then I picked up this uh, eyeshadow. And I love this eyeshadow. Um, do I, I, I have it on right there. That gold is this because this is so pretty I don't remember how much this was it wasn't very much but look at that I thought it was really pretty and I like a really pretty gold and look at this it's just so pretty look at that but yeah and it's real it's like it feels like it's a cream but then it sets it as a it sets as a powder so I am loving this and I think this will last me a long time I'd like to have one in a lighter color too but look at that I think it I love that I mean I love that I think this is awesome and then I picked up from LA Colors. Uh, this is from the dollar store too. Where are my glasses? This is from the dollar store too. Um, they had this nude eyeshadow palette. And every now and then, LA Colors will come out with some really good eyeshadows. But look at this. I mean, you have your all over, well, they call it a highlight, but this is what I used all over my lid. And then you have these four crease shades and then you have these lid shades but you guys again that's the eyeshadow that I have on besides that gold from Believe Cosmetics or Believe Beauty but this is the eyeshadow palette that I am wearing and so far so good I have had it on let's see it's almost two o'clock I've had it on since 10 so I've had it on for four hours I think it still is looking pretty good and the last thing is the LA Colors Show It Off Blush and Highlight Palette. Um, 
again I got this I think um, it's a blush bronzer and um, highlight so that's the bronzer I don't know if I would use that as a bronzer that's the blush the blush is really pretty I actually really like that I'd probably wear that as a blush too and then you have these two highlights is that a highlight blush oh wait a minute so those are two blush it's a blush and highlight palette so those are blushes and then these two are highlights but this one is like a flat it looks almost like a powder you know what I'm saying so I guess that would be good like on your eyes or something and then we have this shimmery highlight and I used it I mean you might be able yeah you can see it right there on my nose a little bit and right there so that is the highlight so these two are supposed to be highlights and then these are blushes but it was very inexpensive that's it guys that's everything that I have for you if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up if you love inexpensive makeup like I do and I mean TJ Maxx. I mean I got a lot of name brand stuff for nothing. Two dollars. Like a lot of this stuff was two dollars. I did not get charged for this, but I will let him know next time I go up there if he is there because he talks to me every time I'm in there. But yeah, if you're new to my channel, hit that red subscribe button below. You're the first ones to know every time I post a new video. But you guys, I love you guys so so much i hope you're having an amazing summer and i will talk to y'all in my next video bye guys bye yeah.